When I opened the door and went inside, uh, it was a wall of smoke came right in my face. I had to uh, evacuate out of the residence. Continued to give the male instructions. Uh, there was a few people that were standing outside. Asked them to try to get a fire extinguisher or something to try to buy some time until the fire department was here. So I made my way up the steps. I tried to make contact, voice contact. I could hear him yelling, help me, help me. Um, so I, I made entry into the residence on my stomach. Uh, I crawled past or up to the fire room. I could see the fire directly to my right um, being held back by a door. Heavy, heavy smoke, intense heat, and you just hear the fire crackling all around you. Um, when I made it to the, to the fire room, um, laying, laying down, I couldn't go any further. It was immediate, immediate darkness. Uh, at that point, I pulled the line to the door. Matt and a couple of bystanders helped me with that. I got the line going with water, and uh, by the time I came back around, fire was coming out the top of the door here. Uh, Matt hit it initially and uh, knocked it back a little bit. I grabbed the nozzle from him, and I made it up the stairway here and just laying on my side right in the entry door here, uh, directed the fire stream onto the fire, or the water stream onto the fire. He'd laid on the floor in the entry with the door open. It left, uh, you know, it brought some of the smoke off the floor for him to, he was laying on the floor just trying to cool that, that hallway down uh, to the room where the individual was. And, and we, were, we were masked up and ready to go. When we got there, we ran up onto the steps and I looked at Pete and I said, where, where is the guy? And he just pointed down the hall and we pretty much, he had to shut the hose up because we, we climbed right over him. And he jumped over me, up the stairs and right over me to get into the bedroom followed by, uh, Cap, by Captain Sides. He, uh, he did a phenomenal job. They all did a phenomenal job. You know, I, I can't say enough for, for either one of them. It was a fairly small room, so we stayed at the wall and circled it, and uh, the captain went the other direction. As I found the victim, he came upon uh, the other end of the victim. One thing I think that really made a difference here was everything worked out right for us. You know, um, again, one of the full-time firefighters, I was at the station already. Um, Orno had their crew in house. They weren't out on a medical call. They were here quickly. We worked really, really well with our mutual aid partners, and I don't think it, without those resources available, you know, we could certainly have had a different outcome here uh, between what Matt had done, um, myself, my own crew that showed up, and and the crew from Orno and Bangor. You know, we all certainly made a difference for this home, and we certainly hope it made a difference for for the family and the occupant that was here.